Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to Queenie's Kitchen. This is my first video, so here goes. We're starting with fresh salmon fillets. Dry. We place them on a paper towel to absorb any extra moisture. And we're going to drizzle them with a little extra virgin olive oil, just about, I would say, a little over a teaspoon. Next, we're going to add our blackening spice. I personally make my own, but you could use any store-bought brand, or if you don't care for a spice, you could use um, your favorite all-purpose seasoning blend and add paprika to it. You want to coat the fish really well. Get the entire surface of the fish coated with your seasoning. Next, you're going to go to your skillet and drizzle in about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Then you're going to turn your skillet to high heat. You want your pan really hot when you add the fish in. Okay, once it reaches the desired heat, you're going to place the fillet into the pan gently, skin side up. You want to hear a searing sound. That lets you know your pan is hot enough and you see those bubbles. So this one's definitely hot enough. Add the fillets in gently. Um, you don't need to move them around. You're going to let them sear for two to three minutes skin side up without moving them. After about two to three minutes, you're going to flip your fish and you should have this beautiful golden brown color like so. Flip them gently. You don't want to break up the fish. I use tongs, but you could definitely use a spatula if you're more comfortable with it. Okay, this next step is completely optional, but um, in my household, we believe that butter makes everything better. So I'm going to add a dollop of butter to each fillet, probably total about a tablespoon. Next, I'm going to add about a fourth a cup of water to the pan and let that simmer. We're going to cover it and reduce the heat to low. You don't have to move this fish anymore, turn it, just let it sit and finish cooking. It's going to steam on low. Alright, next we're going to get a cast iron skillet, add about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, and we're getting ready to saute our garden veggies. Here I have zucchini, squash, red bell pepper and carrots with a little dill. You can add your favorite seasoning blend. Here I have a little adobo and pepper, but any blend will do. You could do lemon pepper, you could do just salt and pepper, whatever you like. You're gonna saute this veggie blend for, um, I would say three to five minutes. I prefer mine crunchy, so I'll be more on the three to four minute side, but you could go all the way up to six, seven minutes if you really like your vegetables soft, but I prefer mine crunchy. And the dill sprigs, they'll just separate while they're in there. You can pull them out before serving if you like. Saute this. Um, you want to constantly stir it um, because you don't want any of the veggies to get like too browned on the bottom. So here we have it. Our salmon fillets look perfect. Garden veggies. And I serve with rice pilaf, which is totally optional. Again, thank you guys for tuning in. Leave comments and questions below. Thank you. Oh, and follow us on Instagram at Queenie's Kitchen.